What's going on? It's DNLs at allhiphop.com. Well, the day has come, and we finally know who's going to be the president over the next four years, Mr. Donald Trump. The internet has been in an uproar all day, so you know we had to take it to the streets to find out what the people thought. So, how do you feel about your new president, Donald Trump? <laughs> oh, nah, man, that's the worst decision in fuck America. That's how you can tell America's fucked up, man. The decisions that they made, I mean, to support a guy like that, I mean, this is, that's just crazy. New president? New president-elect. Well, he's not my president. Who's your president? Me. <laughs> um, from UK. Oh, so you're good. Well, not real. We've got, we've got, we've not got the best uh, prime minister, be, to be honest with you. Okay. But yeah, well, it gets, I want it. Is there room in the suitcase for me? Can I come with? Can I come back to the UK? Uh, I'm excited about it. Yeah, can you explain why? Because it's going to be a big change for the country. I hope. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, we're hoping with all politicians. And uh, what do you, what, uh, what statements did Donald Trump state throughout his campaign over the last year or so that made you believe that there will be some actual change in this country? Well, he's going to put uh, drain the swamp in the Congress, maybe term limits, bring the uh, taxes that are overseas back, well, the money that's overseas, two trillion dollars overseas. Hopefully, bring some of that back by lowering taxes. That'd be a big help to small business. I own a small business. Okay. I'm getting killed in taxes. Okay. Maybe regulation, a little less regulation. Okay. Another thing that's killing me is regulation. All right, well, I appreciate it. Man, it's crazy. Well, I mean, what are you going to do, vote for her? I mean, yeah, I mean, that's another thing. What, what did you, uh, what, uh, what's your, uh, why did you oppose to Hillary Clinton? Well, I've been following Hillary for years. I know the whole Clinton family and the whole routine, and just couldn't deal with it. Couldn't deal with another eight more years of the Clintons. Because okay. if she got in, she would have just rigged the whole system so that they would have brought more people in that would, shouldn't be in the country, and that would just been a nightmare. Doesn't bother me, really. I mean, it really doesn't. It's either her or Hillary Clinton, and when she had the White House, she supported one of the worst crime bills in the history of mankind, sent a lot of innocent people to jail for long periods of time. Uh, when she was the senator, junior senator of New York, her campaign was basically ran on education and health care. And if you go look at the schools in Bedside and in the inner cities like uh, East New York and South Bronx, and then you go up here right up on the Upper East Side or Upper West Side to the schools where the other half live, you could tell me the difference. Uh, I mean, it just shows the mind state of America. You know what I mean? Um, it just shows that they're trying to get back to how America uh, originally started. And then that's, that's built on hate and um, murder. But you never know, you gotta give the man a chance at the end of the day, you know? Uh, and at the end of the day, us as a people, we're stronger so we can overturn if we feel the need to, and if we feel the need that he's not bringing the, uh, the country in the right direction, so. We have to have an agenda, right. especially people of color. We have to have our own agenda. And we have to stick by it too. Four years from now, who would you who would you elect? Who do you feel should run for office four years from now? I really had to pick anybody. If I had to pick anybody. Anybody. Oh well, if I had to pick anybody, I'd pick Umar Johnson. I like Doctor, him. he's, a, he's yeah. a good brother. Doctor Umar, Umar Johnson for yeah. president in 2020. Yes. <laughs> somebody got somebody got a brain. <laughs> Someone blank period. Right, somebody got a brain. And I think Donald Trump have a brain. And anybody, everybody that saw Donald, that support Donald Trump is white supremacy that saw Donald Trump. What you say? Fuck Trump. You wanna know why I say fuck Trump? Why you say it? Is that the nigga the president right there? That's he the president right now. God damn. I'm signing up for war. Save it there. That's what he gonna do. Mexico, out of here. Save it out of here. The people that I truly do love, yeah, man, you got to go to back to where you came from. This is a Saudi, Saudi, Saudi time. So, cause he about to cut off food stamps, Obamacare, and everything else. So Hillary should have won that, but they haters. You got it next time, Hillary. Keep on trying. I feel every vote counts. I mean, no matter what you do, I mean, it might, maybe it didn't sway in our favor this time, but every vote counts. So, I mean, it's the stronger we are, you know, we're stronger when we vote together. We're stronger when we stand together and people, <laughs> so we're better when we stand together. So, you know, at the end of the day, you know, regardless of how you look at it, whether you voted for Trump or you voted against him, you, you make your decision, your every decision, everybody helps with that decision. But to be honest with you, I like this because everybody's pissed off now. But they had a chance. People didn't come out and vote like they're supposed to. See, you had a chance. If you didn't want him in office, you should have came and voted. So there you have it, the people that spoken. Now it's time for you to let us know how you feel about our new president-elect. 
Leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to our hip hop YouTube page. Until next time, keep it locked with your boy D Nels and keep it locked with allhiphop.com.